What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? Y'all already know when you see me. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Y'all, today, <laughs> as you can see, I'm doing a, a video on I'm cooking some fried chicken. And um, I got the little tripod. Y'all bear with me, all right? This gonna be a bootleg video, y'all. I ain't trying to do nothing fancy. I ain't trying to cut. I ain't trying to do all the paste and all that stuff. So if you want to see a real video on how I get down, this is the video for you. And I'm gonna show you all the steps, little by little, and I'm gonna show y'all how it gets down, all right? So first, I'm gonna show you guys, and I don't even know how to work this tripod, y'all, but I bought some, um, some chicken from the store. I'm cooking some legs. And right now what I'm doing is um, rinsing them off really, really good. Making sure they're thawed out all the way. And uh, I have some uh, chicken breasts. Cause I plan on making some um, chicken sandwiches. Some chicken sandwiches, y'all. You know what I mean? Chicken sandwiches. Little bead ones, you know. I'm debating on whether I'm gonna cut them in half or not. I don't know yet. I don't know. Make sure you get some cold water. You want that water good and cold. You don't want the warm water on the chicken because you don't want to start cooking that chicken just yet. All right? Make sure that water is good and cold. I got it in a pot. It don't matter what you put it in. On whatever you put it in, it's clean. That's it. So run some water in there. Get that thing built to the top. Oh, got me a little blue moon. Got me a little blue moon. I don't know about y'all, but I love cooking when I have some blue moon or some beer. There's nothing better than cooking like dinner with a good beer. Sometimes, sometimes it's good to add some beer in your food. Am I right or wrong? My fellas know what's up. Anyway, y'all, I'm also going to be um, making uh, homemade fries. What I have here is some, is a potato. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that up and make a homemade fries some fresh cut potato fries. That's really good with fried chicken, y'all. Really good, for real, for real. All right, so while we're waiting on that chicken to soothe in that water, in that cool water, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is prepare my, my mixes. My flour mix. And my egg mix, where I'm gonna be dipping my flour in, my uh, chicken in, sorry. Mmm. That shoulder is good. That shoulder is good. It's shoulder. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, baby. Wait a minute, should I do a bowl? I put the chicken. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna do three eggs, y'all. Three eggs in a bowl. Three eggs in this bowl. Let me come closer. Let's come close. Well, closer to where you can see at least. You guys, if you want fried chicken, the number one secret, you have to have eggs. You have to have eggs. Really, when you fry any, anything, really, you want eggs. You want eggs. It is a must. It's a must. It is a must. X, 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 X,
don't know what it is. I got my eggs, y'all. Got my eggs. Got my eggs. All right, so look, what I do, y'all, what I do, what I do is mix them bad boys up real good. Oh, yeah. Mix them bad boys up like so. Just like that. And what I do, y'all, is I season in my egg yolks. I see, I know this sounds crazy, but hot sauce. You put some good old hot sauce, y'all, in your egg, in your egg yolk. Just put like three tablespoons of hot sauce in there. Trust me. Bang it, bang it, bang it, bang. I promise you it's gonna be good. Put some of this good old stuff in there right here. I don't wanna say the name, y'all can read. Not that much of this, cause you don't want it to get too dark. But just a little bit. Boom, 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 like that. A boom, 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 and that's it. And then mix that up a little bit. See how we're coming? Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of um, essence salt in there. About two tablespoons of that. All right, maybe one, whatever floats your boat. Some onion powder. Onion powder goes good with anything, all right? It does. Trust me and believe me when I tell you that. Black pepper. McCormick black pepper, that is. If you got it. If you ain't tricking, you got it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, some garlic powder. Some garlic powder. Some garlic powder. Y'all know what I do a lot of times? If I have like um because you don't want to put like garlic the actual garlic pieces in anything like this but if you can like squeeze a little bit of that juice just a little bit of that juice in there yeah just a little bit of that juice <laughs> yo tell you Telling you, yo. I'm telling you, son. Yo. You want to sleeze it like that? You got to roll your sleeves up. All right? You can't get dirty. Make sure this is stirred up real good because you want to make sure this is even on all your chicken. So all your pieces taste the same, all right? I'm gonna explain this mixture in a minute. If you don't know what I'm doing yet, some of y'all know what's up. But for the ones in the back, you, you, and you, and you, I'm gonna explain what's going on in a second. Patience, all right? That's really it. It's all you really need for this. You ain't gotta season this too, too much because you're gonna season the flour, all right? Put that to the side. That's done. Done. Finito. Take another a beer if you got one. All right. And then we're going to get a bowl like this. All right. Bowl like that. Not this. Not that. A bowl like this, y'all. Can y'all see me? Do you see me? Get you some flour. You get you some flour. All purpose is good enough. You pour some flour in this bowl. This bowl. All right. You want to make sure you have enough flour, y'all, for the chicken, but not too much flour. You don't want to. You don't want too much, but just enough. I'm thinking that's enough right there. I'm thinking that's enough, y'all. I'm 
I'm gonna do just a little bit more, y'all. Just a little bit more. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put the flour up. I'm gonna put the flour up. Put it where it belongs. Put it where it belongs. All right, y'all. So what we're gonna do now is that we're going to season the flour as well with some of the same ingredients that we use for the egg mix and some extras. You ready? You ready? Oh yeah. All right. Get yourself like a spoon, some kind of spoon mix like that. Bring that thing close to y'all. So y'all know what's going on. So y'all know what's going on. All right? And in the flower, in the flower, y'all. Um, make sure y'all can see this evenly. I'm putting some paprika. I'm putting a lot of paprika in there, y'all. I love paprika. I'm gonna put like a good about four, shoot, about four tablespoons of that in there. For real, for real. On some real, real. I'm put some more onion powder in there. Show this. I'm putting some more um, salt in there, y'all. Add some salt. You know who put me on this right here? B. Love put me on this. She put me on this stuff, and it's very, very good, y'all. It's kind of like the margin of butter. So it's like salt, but not really. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. Black pepper. Um, let's see. What else we got up here? So you cover your mouth when you're coughing, all right? Don't be coughing over the food. Oh, by the way, y'all, let me, while I'm doing this, take a break and put the oil in the pan so that it's already sizzling and ready to go. And the oil that I use, I forgot to tell y'all that, sorry. I use canola oil, all right? It's very, very good for frying chicken, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Um, I use the canola oil, and it's really, really good, y'all, frying chicken. And, uh, let's see. Turn your oven on. Let's see. Uh oh, I'm gonna need this whole thing. I'm gonna need the whole thing, and I might need more. Yeah, I probably need some more. Uh, I'm not sure. Where. Get all that in there. It costs money. It costs money. It costs money, 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 money. All you want to see is. Oh, actually, save this. Don't throw it away. Because what you can do is, when the oil cools down and you don't want to keep uh, dishes out, you can pour the oil back in here and use it for chicken only again. Maybe I, For me, I use it one more time. Uh, I'm going to probably add a little bit more in my... Yeah, so I, yeah, I I use some more. So I use about one, I use about one and one third of one of these, you guys. Canola oil, all right? And my dad, he told me about the canola oil. So I got the oil going. I got the, the oil going right now. 
put that on medium put that on medium you guys all right so all right back to the flower all right y'all back to the flower and we're gonna put some more stuff in the flower y'all let's see what we're gonna put some let's see let's see hold on Let me see what else am I gonna use, y'all. I'm looking through the cabinets right now to see what else. Uh, let's see. Let oh, you know what I love, you guys. I love Mrs. Dash. You could do this. It's really, really good. Um, not a whole lot because you don't want the chicken to burn. Um. It has like a lot of herbs in there. So you don't want to use like too much because if you use too much, your chicken will burn. Um, also, you guys, I use um, cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is really good. Um, gives it a good kick, you guys. A good kick. What else we gonna do? What else we gonna do? What else? What else? What else? I think that's about it, though. For real, for real. And uh, maybe some Creole. I don't know. A little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something, y'all. I really do feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there's one more thing that I use, y'all. Don't look at me crazy like that. I'm not show you this, all right? That's one more thing that I use, and uh, don't worry about it. If you try it, you're gonna thank me later, all right? And that thing is just a dab. Oh my gosh, these. I got <coughs> That thing I do, y'all, I use a dab of sugar in mine. I give it a kick of sweetness. Sure does. Just a dab. You won't even know it's in there. You won't even know. So you're gonna swirl it like that around. You're gonna make sure that's good. You make sure that thing is good. It's good to go. That's right. Make sure that you stir it very, very good, y'all, so that all the seasonings and all of the the goodness is very much so inside of there. And I use utensils because I don't like to use my hands with a lot of stuff, you know, unless I keep, unless I keep washing and washing and washing there. And I'm gonna use my hands with the meat and I'm gonna be washing my hands with the meat, of course, but you don't have to keep using your hands. You can use a utensil. All right, make sure it's a good mix like that, where you can't even tell the seasoning is in there. All right, I do feel like I'm missing something though. I'm gonna go through here one more time and see what it might be. What it might be, what it might be, what it might be, yo. Oh, oh, oh. We good though, y'all. I don't think we need to add nothing else. I think that's good. We ain't trying to make no. We ain't trying to make no super unhealthy. Nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. You know? <laughs> All right, so that's set to the side as well. All right, y'all. The next step that I'm gonna do is take a sip of my beer. A 
god, it's so good. Mm. I bought these um sweet Hawaiian Hawaiian bread um rolls. I mean uh um sandwich breads for the chicken breasts so that I can make sandwiches. So I'm thinking about you guys um cutting the two breast patties that I have in half so I can make four uh sandwiches. Which is like, you know, I get my I'm gonna already batter it so that I can make it bigger pieces. Alright, y'all. Let's go ahead and wash these hands. Rule number one, when you're dealing with chicken, poultry, wash them hands a lot. I eat, because that's something my dad always taught me. Wash them hands. You can get sick, boy. You gonna get sick. Don't play that. Y'all saw that, um, y'all saw that video where, um, it was saying, you ain't supposed to wash the chicken, and you ain't supposed to rip the chicken because it's gonna spread all over the... Let me tell you something. I'm gonna denounce that right here and right now on my own behalf because the way I've been doing it since before I was little and my mama and my daddy and my grandma and their grandma, they washed the chicken. And none of us got sick, not one time. I'm just gonna say it like that, that we ain't never got sick for washing the chicken. I think if anything, we got sick for not washing it. <laughs> like I say, if anything, we got sick for not washing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cut them in half, y'all. Or I'll just cut this one big one in half. What you do if you wanna cut the chicken in half, hold on me. Let me see if you guys can see this. I just take a knife and then in the center, just cut it in half. Make sure you just cut it directly in half, y'all. And follow throughout so that you don't have nothing too skinny, too thin. Just cut it directly all the way down to the last bit of it. And now you have two pieces of chicken breast that are gonna be just fine when it's battered up. And I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the little one the same way. Or should I just keep the little one? Maybe should I keep the little one just big, huh? I'll keep the little one big. I'll keep this one big. It's kind of little, y'all. If you see it already, it's kind of little already so i'll just keep this one like that all right come on sleeves y'all keep coming down you can't do that you can't do that stay up you can't do that you can't don't you know no good don't you know no good don't you know no good Like I said, y'all, make sure you're washing your chicken with cold water. Cold water! Take your chicken, massage it a little bit with the water. I'm sorry for the ones who say, you ain't got to rest your chicken, no. This ain't for you. You might want to exit. On this part, at least, or pop or fast forward two more seconds. This ain't for you because I rinsed my chicken off. I chose do. I let it soak, and sometimes I let it soak in some vinegar water. But depending on, sometimes I let that thing soak in some vinegar water. 
some distilled vinegar water and then I'll rinse it off some more. I make sure that thing clean. For real, for real. I don't play that. All right, y'all, so the chicken is really, really clean now. It's clean and it's rinsed off very, very well. Okay, very, 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 very well. So, I'm going to, I gotta, I gotta get the camera right though, man, because I want y'all to see this step by step. So I gotta figure out this camera. I gotta figure out this camera real quick. But I'm washing my hands first. Cause I want some of my beer. I want some beer. I want some beer. I want some beer. I want some beer. That, that, uh, the oil is very hot already. I'm gonna turn it down because I'm not really ready to cook it. But I can tell it's already hot. All right, how are we gonna do this? I'm trying to think, should I bring the camera over, over, uh, or should I bring the stuff over here? Let's just bring everything over here. But I'm gonna need for you guys to see this. So what I probably end up doing is getting my, my other tripod so I can have a, another view. You know what I mean? Because I don't think you're gonna be able to see it like this. Unless I hold it up. Which I don't really want to do that like that. It's too much work. All right, I didn't want to cut. I'm gonna have to cut the video. I didn't want to have to cut the video, but I'm gonna to cut the video so that I can set up another tripod so that I can show you guys the view from up. Yeah, so I'll be right back, all right? Eyes back, y'all. Eyes back. All right, cool, y'all. So look, let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, so let's go ahead and do. Let's do the uh, the legs first. I guess you can say the legs. Let's do the legs first, y'all. So what I do is just dip the legs, y'all, in the mixture first, the egg mixture. All right. Turn it around, turn it around, turn it around, put them on in there. How many legs do I got? Let's see. All right, I hear you, Grease. I hear you talking. I hear you talking over there. Y'all hear that Grease talking over there, talk, talking to me. Talking all that smack. Talking all that smack of this smack of this smack. All right, so look, y'all. So we got, so we got these done with the. If you guys can see right here, let me bring it close to you. You make sure that your legs and stuff like that, your chicken is. Now, if you want to really, if you ain't got, if you got like a party tomorrow or something like that, or you want to really show out, let this marinate overnight and you're really talking. Yo, I'm about to cover this product real quick. That thing talking smack to me right now. Dang, I want to get popped me in the face. I'd be dangity dang. All right, so look, go ahead and dip it in there. Can y'all see that? I don't think so. Hold on, let me take the spoon out. But keep it right there, close by. See that like that? All right, cool. Now, turn them around. Try not to get the juice everywhere. So just do a quick flip. All right, like that. 
like so. We'll do the same thing over and over again. Let these bad boys coat up really good. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, you guys saw my last video about, about five days ago, I had a fried chicken video and I showed you I made some fried chicken. And y'all was like, yo, that fried chicken look really crispy. I'm showing you how I make my chicken crispy today, all right? Cause some people just do it like this and they just throw it in the grease. No, it's a process. That ain't the, that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. I wish it was that simple, but it's not. It's not that simple, y'all. Let me turn that oil down. Just a tad bit, because it's making me, it's, it's mad with me right now. It's mad. All right, so we got two more drums. Oh wow, it's popping, y'all. It's popping. Now I'm a little nervous. Now I'm a little nervous. Oh shoot. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. You guys, you guys can see it, right? We're gonna do the same thing with these. Massage them, treat them like they're your, you know, your babies. That's what they are. They're your babies. They're your babies. That's what they are. They're all these your babies. Put that bad boy in there like that there. Drip, 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 drip. Pop it on in there like that, that there. All right. Turn it over. Turn it over, turn it over, turn it over, over, over. Are you bleeding? What's up? Uh, you're acting all crazy like that. I don't need you bleeding. Cause I'll free you. Got somewhere for you to go. All right. Yeah, they acting crazy. I don't know if they bleeding or not, but. All right. I ain't do the last ones like this, but. All right, so yeah, so just put those two to the side right here. You know the new ones right here to the side. And look, I'm gonna put these bad boys. See, if you notice, I'm gonna bring it close to you so you can see. If you guys notice, the ones that I did at first, they're not fully covered anymore. So guess what? Put they butt back in there. But what don't happen, what, look at that, see that? What don't happen to you? What you mean you ain't gonna be fully covered? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because I want me a fried chicken with a coat. Is everywhere. I want the coat to be everywhere. And then look, I'm nervous because this, this grease is talking crap. But let me, we're going to scoot over a little bit because Cheryl. Cheryl's a little mad with us right now. We're gonna name it Grease. We're gonna name her Cheryl. Don't look on. Scoot over so we can see Cheryl. So look. We're gonna put put one in there, one by one. Oh, she definitely ready. I need the time. All right. Can y'all see Cheryl right now?
She ain't fully covered like I want her to be, but that's okay. Trust me when I say it's okay. You will see. She ain't got to be all the way covered. Because trust and believe me, that grease is about to be, it's gonna bubble up some more in a minute. This one's small, so I know this one be covered up. You guys, I have a deep fryer, but I like to, honestly, I like to fry in this better. But I do have a deep fryer. That's it for the wing. I mean, not wing, the, uh, the leg. Turn them over after about a minute or two. You can go ahead and turn it for the first time. All right. All right, y'all. I'm back. About to do the breast, and this time I'm doing the breast. I'm gonna make the breast more crispy, kind of like the Popeye chicken breast. All right. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. I'll show you how to make it more crispy. And I go ahead and get the the oil, not that oil, the mix on it for the ND powder. Get it on there real good. You can kind of press up on it if you want to, so you can make sure that it's stuck on it. The first time, the first go. See that? Stuck on it the first go. Do each one that way. The first go. Make sure that the, uh, the ones that have the cracks in them, get the flour mixed in it as well in the cracks. Cause you don't want, uh, some of the parts missing without crust. Did you hurt? All right. 
get her done. You get her done. You understand? You get her done. No matter what you gotta do, you get her done. All right, y'all. So this is the trick. If you want an extra, extra crispy, like when you go to Popeye's chicken, then what you gonna do this time? After you wrench your hands off, cause you're gonna need to wrench your hands off, y'all. It's a big mess if you don't. All right, so look. And let me check on my chicken first, hold on. Let me check on the legs. They're almost done, y'all. Typically, they take about 15 minutes, but you know, I have my own rules. I like my chicken very crispy, and so I don't do 15 minutes, I do about 20 minutes. I have my own eye on it, so, you know, that's that. All right, so, to get it very, very crispy, take these bad boys and dip it right back in that mix. Yep, that's right. Right, right back in that mix. And right back in the powder. When I tell you it's going to be crispy, it's going to be crispy. You'll see at the end. I don't lie. One thing I don't do is I don't lie. I ain't got to lie. I'm a lie for. What I'm a lie for, y'all. All right. Put it back on there like that. Do the next one. Dip it right back in that. That egg mix. That's the second egg mix dip. Put it in the, the flour mix. Real good, y'all. A good old mix in there. You understand? Do you understand me? Are you following me? Are you following me? Cause if you ain't following me, I don't know what else you're gonna be doing. Like, I need you to pay attention to me. At least, like a little bit. You can dip it again before you put it back in there, so it's all good. Look at that. Back in there. Back in there. You see that? Man, it's gonna be crispy. It's gonna be crispy. How y'all think they get the chicken so crispy at all these restaurants like KFC and Popeye's? This is one of their formulas. This is what they do. This is what they do, y'all. By the way, that chicken is done, but like I said before, I like my chicken extra, extra crispy. So yes, for those who are saying, his chicken done, see it's floating. Yeah, it's floating. I know that. But I want mine more crispy than that. You know one thing about chicken is that it can be overcooked, but it can't be undercooked. How about that? How about that? It can't never be undercooked, but it can be overcooked. Did you get it? All right. As long as you understand that, and we're on the same page. You're on the same page. That's right. But yes, it is, it is done. Let me see what time it is. It's done. It's definitely done. It's been on for a little bit. I'm actually gonna take them out now. Let me see. They're done.
Oh yeah, they're done. But you guys, you can do that same thing that I did with the breast with these as well. If you want a really crispy chicken uh, leg, I suggest you do the same thing with these bad boys. I really do. Do the, do the same technique. That's my opinion. To do the same technique. Alright? You do that same technique, you're gonna be alright. You're gonna be alright. Let me see what time it is. They are ready to come out. Do something like this so that they can drain all the oils into. You don't want no greasy chicken. All right. Get all your small pieces out first so that the big pieces can still cook a little bit. See how good that looks? Good and crispy. And still juicy. I have one more leg, you guys. And then I'm gonna um, put my breast in there. And those are my legs. What do you guys think about that? All right, so put these away. Let them drain all of the, that good stuff on there. Go ahead and do the dip one more time in the flour for the chicken breast. A fresh dip. Won't never hurt nobody. I promise you it won't. And I was gonna prove my point. Put that bad boy in there like that. Y'all, you understand? You put that bad boy, you put that bad boy in there like that. And we got three breast fillets. Tres pollo filetes. Filetes to put in there, okay? Do a dip. This is our third dip with the flour. You want it crispy and you want it covered with the flour, all right? You want it covered with that flour. Bam. Bam, I'm gonna let that fry a little bit and I'm gonna come back, all right, y'all? All right, y'all, so I got the chicken breast fillets going in right now. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over for the first time. As you can see, that they are very well battered. You just like your Popeyes. <laughs> you see it, y'all? Look at that. Just like, yeah, that look really, really, really good. Look at that. Oh yeah. It's gonna be very tasty, y'all. All right, you guys. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to do my, you already forgot, I already. I'm about to do my, my potato fries. How about that? Catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> All right, y'all, so look. 
Well, let me rinse this off first. I'm gonna rinse it again, but there's nothing wrong with rinsing it more than once. There's nothing wrong with that. But you're gonna rinse it again. You're gonna rinse it again. Trust me. You're gonna see. All right. All right. So look, I haven't done this in a while, so don't judge me. Let's go close, close, close. Get 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 close. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do more cooking videos. I will. A lot of y'all been asking me, so I'm doing it. I found a big old potato, y'all. I found a real big one. Russet potato. I'm gonna do my fries kinda sorta long. So, um, I'm gonna just cut this bad boy right in half to start it out. Y'all hurt? Just like so. Just to start it out, you know what I mean? And if I cut this in half, it's gonna be small fries. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just cut them all in uh, one big long pieces. Listen, there is no wrong way to this. There is no wrong way, okay? You can cut your fries in boxes and long strings, however you want to do it. This is no wrong way. I promise you there isn't. Uh, you can do them however you want to. I promise you there is no wrong way um, to do them. You will get the hang of it. And there is no wrong way, like I said. And, um, <laughs> you guys, I did something wrong already. Don't judge me though, okay? I didn't cut the, uh, the back off of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Listen, this ain't no edit video, so don't judge me. I already told you already. Don't judge me. I'm not editing. The only time I, I cut the camera off is that I gotta move something off. I gotta move the camera or I gotta uh, do something dramatic. This is not an edit video. You guys have seen my cooking videos before. They're 10 minutes long. This is totally different. Somebody told me to not do those kind of videos do the more organic videos like this and that they are better. My mentor told me this. Don't take long to peel a, a potato. Some of you guys got the, the little tool to do it for you. I don't. It ain't gotta be perfect. It really don't. That's good enough for that piece. Get it off of there. Get it off of there. And just start cutting. Just start cutting. You want them to look like this. That's how you want them to look. I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. When I was young, cause this is where I got it from, my dad. My dad used to cook these all the time. When I was young, I used to eat these things. I used to be like, Dad, can I have one? Mmm. And I used to eat these. Mmm. A little, not the same, but you ain't supposed to eat them like that. Let me check out my chicken here. Let me flip, flip, flip. Let's flip her. 
Get her done. Get her done. Yeah, I'm excited. Anyway, back to the flies. The breast meat takes longer to cook. Anyway, I used to eat them a long time ago. I used to ask my dad for them all the time. From what I was told, you're not supposed to eat like a lot of them. They make you sick. But you wanna like, you want to get them kind of like this, the size. But whatever floats your boat, it ain't gotta be perfect. It don't have to be perfect, y'all. I promise you it don't. That's why they homemade fries. That's why when you go to McDonald's, those pro those uh fake fries they have, they're they're all perfectly made. They're fake. They ain't real. I want to go somewhere like Five Guys where I can see the bag of potatoes on the floor. That's what I like. What about y'all? You know what I'm saying? Real potatoes. You can cook these in the same chicken oil. Hey, okay. So this one is not, I didn't peel that off too much. So go ahead and peel that baby off. It's probably a little too thick. It's all good though. It's just me y'all. So I'm not gonna eat all this anyway. So it's all good. That's why I got one big potato. So I can screw up and show y'all how it's done all at the same time. When we're done with this, y'all, we're going to wash them off. Okay. And what you're going to do, y'all, is you are going to um, put a salt and pepper on these when you're done washing them off. A good old salt and pepper. I'm keeping an eye out on my chicken breast. Keep in mind that the the grease was already used, so it's gonna uh, it's gonna assume that it's done faster than the first chicken because um, it's gonna brown the chicken faster from the previous seasoning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no one on the train. All right. Got that one done. Get those out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Make three out of this. Bam, bam, bam. Make three out of this one. Bam, bam, bam. Well, I can make four. Five. All right, so that's all of the fries. Uh, you can make some smaller ones. You got the really, really long ones. You can probably slant them a little bit. If you want to, you can make some smaller fries. Just to make some like some different sizes. They don't have to always be all long. Why not make some of them 
smaller. You understand? Why not? And then the rest of them will keep long. All right, one second. One minute. Get your little plate, bowl, whatever, so you can uh, rinse these bad boys off. And then what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you what you what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Cold water, rinse them off. Hoping that none of them fall in the sink. You ain't gotta wash them, <laughs> just rinse them off. They're gonna be fried, so. All you gotta do is just rinse them off. That's it. After all, your hands are all over them. So it's the, it's the right thing to do, y'all. All right, I'm gonna cut the video and I'm gonna salt and pepper. Well, I'll do it now. Just do a little salt and pepper. Bam. A little bit. Remember, your uh, your grease is already salty. Be right back. All right, I forgot I was recording, so I'm doing the fries now. Um, so basically, just I gotta hurry up and put them in there, and they don't take long at all, y'all, to fry. at all. You guys thank me later on these fries right here. Just get you a big potato and fry some homemade fries. Don't get the don't don't even try getting the the bag fries out the freezer. Like this is gonna taste so good. You ain't gotta select your mama, but you're gonna slap the nearest person close to you because they should have told you how good this was they should have told you just like that they should have told you they should have told you you should have told me I wasn't good enough Oh, by the way, the chicken is done, you guys. I'll bring it over here so you can see it. Hold on. Let me get the fried situation. See the way it. Get them things on in there. They gonna be so good. They show us. They show us. Let's get the chicken on there. You guys, you see the chicken breast fillets? They just came out. Looking all so good. Look at that, y'all. What you look. I want y'all to see that. I don't think you understand how crispy, how crispy and delicious that's gonna be right there. Do you see that? All right, cool. As long as you see it, then we're on good terms. All right, so guys, I'm gonna let the uh, fries cook, and once they are done, I'm gonna come back.
All right, y'all, so this is pretty much it. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and release the fries and put them on a plate, let them drain out, and that's it. The fries take about 10 or 15 minutes to cook, depending on if you like yours soft or crispy. I like mine in between. All right, so here we go. A lot of them actually broke while I was uh, cooking them. So I know I said I wanted long fries, but if you look, they're small now, right? That's because when I was cooking them, they were so long that they ended up breaking. But that's cool though. It's all good though. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the cooking process, turn the oil off, and let it be just what it is. But these are done. And what you guys can do is uh, taste the fries, you guys. If it's salty enough, uh, let it be. If it's not, while the oil is still hot on the fries, you can just sprinkle some salt on top of it. The same way they do when you go to McDonald's or wherever you go. They just sprinkle the salt on top of it as soon as the oil, it come out the oil. It's gotta be quick though, or else it won't stick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want me to make some more videos like this, uh, maybe for my seafood or whatever else I cook, I will do it if you ask. Everybody was talking about how good my fried chicken looked the other day. I said, why not make a cooking video on it? So here it is. And um, with that being said, you guys, that's it. Adios.